Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to oh, fuck off. Hey everyone, oh my god, fuck the fuck off. Fuck off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to tackle a question that I know a lot of musicians, especially guitarists, have been asking. Is the guitar still relevant in today's music world? Now, I know opinions on this have been pretty divided and I'm not here to say whether it's a definitive yes or no, but I do have some thoughts on the matter which I kind of just wanted to get across here. So yeah, let's dive in and break down what's going on. So like, you know, looking back over the years and the role of guitar over the decades, there was a time like not too long ago where the electric guitar was the sound of popular music. So like in the 1950s, that was basically the birth of rock and roll. In the 60s and 70s, you know, guitar driven bands basically dominated the charts. And then in the 80s, we had shredders like Eddie Van Halen, Randy Rhodes, who then pushed the boundaries of what was possible on the instrument. But as we moved into the, like, the 90s and 2000s, I think we all know the guitar kind of started to take a bit of a back seat. Like, you know, grunge and alternative rock did keep it alive for a while, but then we saw the rise of electronic music, hip hop and pop acts that didn't really rely so much on the guitar. During that period as well, like the 90s and 2000s, we still had, you know, innovation happening in the guitar world from Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Greg Howe, Michelangelo Batio, um, but they weren't appealing to the masses, only really to people like us who love the guitar and instrumental music based around it. And I think since then, the guitar has kind of become more and more niche over time, which I think has impacted it negatively in some ways. So what happened, like, you know, why did this occur? And obviously part of it has to do with evolving musical taste. But I often wonder if part of it is also to do with how music is produced. Like today, the way music is produced is totally different. Like producers can create entire albums without ever picking up an instrument, like thanks to the rise of VST instruments. Like why would you hire a guitarist when there are already, you know, God knows how many virtual instruments out there already recorded perfectly and are gonna save you like thousands. And the role that kind of guitars used to fulfill in music back in the 80s and 90s has basically been replaced by since. And yeah, obviously there's like, rock bands now still have guitarists in them and stuff who are like you know also in the pop charts and stuff but even though we we're defining it as rock it's still not like guitar driven it's not like like the guitar is not the main character and like where it is the main character now is like like i said in the instrumental stuff from like satch and void and stuff but like the only time i feel like the guitar is like the main character is in metal but then in, in another way, I do kind of feel like we're at a bit of a crossroads. And so like decades ago, if you were a great guitarist, you made your name by being in a band or working with big artists. But now many of the most like celebrated players are making their name online. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, like platforms like YouTube and Instagram have allowed amazing players to get recognition, but it also means I think that the guitar is kind of becoming more and more niche. Like we see like incredible talent, but it's often like isolated in a community of guitarists rather than reaching like the mainstream music scene. So I wouldn't say the guitar is dead as such, but I do think the role is changing. Like we see it, like, like I said, we see it thriving in rock and metal genres, you know, where the guitar is still basically essential, but those genres aren't the face of mainstream music. The face of mainstream music is basically pop and hip hop, and the guitar just basically doesn't have a place in those styles. And yeah, rock and metal are still popular, obviously, but you know, they're not dominating the charts. You know, when was the last time you heard a guitar heavy song in the charts? You know, that's why I think guitarists now are basically turning to social media to try and make a name for themselves because you know, it's a place they can shine, create niche content and be celebrated by dedicated community of players. But outside of that, the general public just isn't engaged, nor do they even care. You know, thankfully, the guitar is always going to have its home in genres like metal, rock and 
like jazz and stuff like that even. You know, what does the future hold for it? Is it ever going to be like mainstream again? Because like I said in another video, I like the fact that we've kind of got our own little niche world that we're part of that no one else even knows about. And it's cool like, you know, when we're just kind of out in public or and you meet someone who's into it just as much as you are. It's like, it's, it's awesome. So if it was mainstream, that's going to kind of go away. And I know people are going to probably mention bands like Polyphia and stuff who are, you know, it's basically just like pop converted into like instrumental guitar music. And I'm not trying to take anything away from Polyphia or like their musicians like Tim Entz and stuff because clearly awesomely talented guys. But that's basically how I've always seen it. Like the first time I listened to them, I was like, this is basically just like so many 90s and 2000s pop influences here, just kind of like converted into guitar music and made a bit more intricate. So I think they've kind of done that. They've kind of made it a bit more mainstream. And I wonder if it'll keep going up that path or, you know, what path will it take? And it, yeah, it just makes me wonder like, and then another thing I kind of think about is, like let's say we were on a mission to make guitar mainstream again. Like what would even need to happen? Like we'd have to adapt and make it sound mainstream. And a lot of people might call that selling out. So I don't know. So is the guitar still relevant? I think in like the grand scheme of things, and as far as the average person is concerned, I don't think it is. I think it's only kind of relevant to like us guys basically and you know i'm kind of okay with that as well like i said i think we've got our own or some little niche that we can that we're part of so yeah what do you think is it still relevant or has it faded away let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and thanks for watching